This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect. This lesson is going to be entitled Warning to the Simple. Uh, wanted to the simple, unequal, carnal Israelites. Now, there was a video that was done recently dealing with this situation about uh, these guys, uh, Adam Abbott or whatever they call themselves now, having been arrested. I did a video on it last Saturday, I believe, or, or Friday. It was entitled Hebrew Israelites Learn From This. You can see a screenshot of it here on the screen. And on the comment board, <clears throat> I've had this video for, you know, this comment for a number of days. I just kind of, you know, been waiting for the right time, you know, for the spirit to, uh, you know, give me the idea and what scriptures to bring out, what points to make. So finally, this evening, that, that time is now. And Lord willing, it'll be edifying. Now, from the comment board, this guy named Gabar Lawaya, right, which is a... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, soldier of Levi, if I'm not mistaken, he answers. He says, respect, brother, but we ain't all scared to die for this shit. What are you talking about? We ain't all scared to die for this shit. First off, this what I'm involved in. This is not shit. This is the beautiful gospel of the kingdom. The beautiful ministry of the prophets preaching the gospel of the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay, of our father, Yahweh, through his son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Now, I just answered back. I told the guy, what you talking about? Your page is empty. You are no threat. Be quiet, ninja, which I meant nigga. I get the sarcasm. Colossians 4 and 5. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time as teachers and leaders Right, and big brothers and whatnot, we are to lead the flock in a way that's wise. We are to walk in wisdom, you know, as it says here, walk in wisdom toward them that are without. You have a lot of Israelites watching us these days, and we have to be very careful of the image that we put out, what we say, to not lead the flock the wrong way. All right, as it says, redeeming the time. Now, this guy says, respect, brother, but we ain't all scared to die for this shit. And let me go to the other comment before I read the next scripture. And there was another comment that came up. Ariel Yasharala. He says, didn't the Bible say the devil should cast some of you in prison houses to be tried? My brother was quoting scriptures getting locked up. He didn't do nothing wrong. And that's obviously people that are simple. You're unequal. Okay. And you carnal as hell because you must have been watching a different video. I told the guy, I said, obviously, you are not too bright. All that could have been avoided. Listen to the video, man. Damn. And I actually went into what what was wrong with the, you know, with the situation. I went into it in the video. But these guys can't seem to see that. So, you know what? What we're going to do? We're going to play the video now before. In the video that I did, I only had a portion of what happened. You know, they had basically it was, uh, wasn't the full video of what happened right now we're gonna play some that wasn't seen in the uh if, it, if it'll if it'll play here we're gonna play the video in its entirety lord willing check it out you want we're gonna wind down give me matthew of the, of the chapter 7 God. and 13. do you have no doubt whatsoever that one day you'll stand before the Lord? come with me please we're gonna what's you notice to appear please walk this way what's you what's the gentleman you three gentlemen for what? with the officers. For what? You're going to get issued NTAs. Please Why? cooperate Why? or you're going to go to jail for noise ordinance violation. You guys What's are the noise ordinance? Does the Lord do that to you? If you don't what? cooperate, you Yeah, the Lord did that to us. We rejoice it. Right. Call, call Lord Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shabbat. Call Lord Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shabbat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the noise? What's the noise? Walk this way. You're going to go to jail. What's the noise? Walk this way. You're going to go to jail. What's the noise? They got to explain it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hey, yo, yo, let my brother. 
brother go? Yo, let him go, let him go. Yo, check, check your man. Check your man. Yo, you gotta check, check your man. Why you love no, 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 check your man, man. Why you no, what you talking about? Man, check your man. He asked the question. Yo, yo, he asked the question. He asked the question, yo. Yo, no, 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 no. He asked the question. Go back down. Go back down. Put the ass. Put the ass. Put the ass. Put the ass. Put Chapter 5 and 39. Give me the book of Acts. Chapter 5 and 39. Chapter 5 and 39. Chapter 5 and 39. But if it be a God. But if it be a God. But if it be a God. No, no, no. I can record it. No, I can record it. Yo, you can't stop me from recording. You can't stop me from recording. What you mean you got to record? I can record it. No, no, no. I got to record it. No, we're not stopping from recording, but you got to get back. Get out of the roadway. Get out of the roadway. Both. Listen. I ain't on the road. I ain't on the road. This is a parking space. This is a parking space. Know what y'all talking about? Know what y'all talking about? I know. I ain't, in, I ain't blocking traffic. I ain't blocking traffic. I'm not blocking traffic. You can't do it. I'm not blocking traffic. I'm not blocking traffic. And I got the right to record. I'm not blocking traffic. Exactly. Thank you, Sergeant. Thank you, Sergeant. Pipe down, dog. Pipe down. No, your sergeant sound good. Your sergeant sound good. Your sergeant sound good. Your sergeant said I'm good. Sergeant. 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 Get your dog. Sergeant. Sergeant. Get your dog. Sergeant. 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 Get your dog. Get your dog. Get your dog! Ball! Ball dog! Ball dog! That's what I thought so. Ball dog! I got the right to record this and I ain't blocking traffic. Y'all know why I have to. Cause y'all came yeah, up I trying to build on another man's foundation. Come on, you man. broke a commandment of Jesus. Come on. Since y'all say Jesus. Come on, man. Oh. So as you can see right there, so let's go back to this guy's comment. He said, didn't the Bible say the devil should cast some of you in prison houses to be tried? My brother was quoting scriptures, getting locked up. He didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah, he did do something wrong. And the first video I made was way nice. It just showed basically them, you know, being told like two times to move over. or They're going to get locked up. That one showed about three different times, three to four times. So you know what? They became combative. They became unruly. And therefore he got locked up. You saying he ain't do nothing wrong. But see a lot of you Israelites. All you know is that the uh, Israelite got locked up. So you're going to justify him no matter what. And that's your unequalness. You don't know how to judge righteously. Now I told this guy. He said respect brother. But we ain't all scared to die for this shit. And this is the point. The point is martyrs. Die for a reason, not for no reason. That that shit could have really got out of hand. As I brought it out in the other video, Matthew 5, 25, right? Ecclesiastes 9, 13, and the list of other scriptures that we brought out. But see this this tough guy, bravado, I want to be a martyr, I want to be a Maccabees, that type of spirit going to get a lot of you niggas killed, man. And I'm saying niggas because niggas do shit like this. Respect, brother, but we ain't all scared to die for this shit. What is it didn't have to go to that. When you become a martyr, that's when they, when they come and just grab you because you're an Israelite. Not when they come to you and approach you and tell you to do this or do that and then you disobey that and then you become combative and you get your stupid self locked up or killed. Okay? Learn from that, brothers. Now, I also put up Ecclesiastes 28 and 12, which we'll go and read that. Because, see, Jake is on some little weak shit, man. Before we read that, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and read it now. Now, the scriptures give us all kind of wisdom how we can avoid, you know, uh, certain issues. This is Ecclesiastes 28, 18. It says, many have fallen. You know what? That's not the one that I wanted. So like you. Uh, and I had the scripture. All right. And, you know, matter of fact, let's just read it off the uh, off that comment. So it's Ecclesiastes 28 and 12. It says, if thou blow the spark, it shall burn. If thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched. And both these come out of thy mouth. And the simple thing to have done 
was to go ahead and do what Matthew 5, 25 told you to do. Agree with your adversary. If they came, they had an issue, they told you three guys step over here. We're going to write you this for this right here. All you had to do was just take the damn ticket and let the people go on about their way, man. No, nah, you, you're going to try to be like uh, the Elder Monogon from D.C. said. You got that Moorish science demon on you. You're going to try to outsmart them in their own law. And that shit could have resulted in your death. And all the people that, that got that spirit, that zealot spirit, is going to get you Jake's kill, man. And you could have easily diffused that situation. That's what the scripture is saying. The scripture is saying what? If thou blow the spark, it shall burn. Right. Whenever you see a spark that's lit, if you blow it, it increases the rate in which it burns. Right. If thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched. But you could easily put it out. You can diffuse the situation. But And both these come out of thy mouth. So you could have used sugar instead of shit. You could have used, you know, water instead of lighter fluid. You could have easily stopped that situation from going there. But no, you got to try to be tough guys, okay? And that's the, that's just the bottom line. Now, I'm going to go back because a lot of you Israelites are very simple, man. You are simple. You move about in the earth in a simplistic manner. This is, again, Proverbs 1 and 22. It says, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity and scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? Let's look at this word simplicity right here. Or either simple ones or simplicity. We can look up simplicity. Right here. The definition says simplicity, naivety, simple, foolish, open-minded, right? Here it says silly, i.e. seducible. Foolish, simple. Now, when you go here to, to naivety, which is the, uh, you get the word naive from that, right? When you look it up, it says innocence right here. The quality of being naive, lack of experience, wisdom, or judgment, innocence, and unsophistication. And then a lot of times in this truth, you got to have a, a level of experience, man. And we're all the time in the truth, right? You got to have a level of, of understanding and a level of experience. And when you go out there and you do not exercise caution, you do not exercise patience and experience, you can get hemmed up. And this guy right here, Gabar Lawoya. He doesn't understand that. He's simple. The guys that got locked up, they was being damn simple because you're on the battlefield. You can't just do what you want to do. And by the way, you heard in that video, at the end, the guy that was doing the recording, he was going off. He was doing all kind of old weird shit, trying to provoke the cops, taunting them, calling them dog, bow dog, you know, doing all that. And that's All that tough guy shit, man, it's going to get you jakes folded up and put somewhere in the damn meat locker, man. You know, and Lord willing, I'm wrong. But at the end of the day, this is what the scriptures say. Let's go to uh, Romans 8. And we're going to jump in here. Verse, <clears throat> verse 5. It says, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You cannot be being carnally minded when it comes to things like dealing with the cops, this ministry and all that. And let me say this also, by the way, man, today, listen to Elder Pastor Hart's videos and the responses that was done by uh, Elder Yashawamba first. I also listened to a couple of others dealing with the kind con Oh, Elder Pastor Rhymla first and then Elder um, Elder Yashawamba. Elder Pastor Rhymla did the original response to Elder Apostles to Elder Pastor Hart's video, uh, the 12 tribe sign controversy. Man, let me tell you something. Them, you jakes out there in the world who look at this truth, especially, especially that guy that made the comment, man. That's I really didn't even go live tonight. I've been mad about that shit all day. And just listen to you jakes, the way you behave. Between that guy with the 12 tribe made that comment about the sign, these little upstarts with all this other little shit, these guys talking about two-thirds, that's the worst doctrine ever. And and uh, these guys, these little proud up starts with all that, that extra shit. And all you jakes with that air in your damn chest, man. That's enough to, man. Bro, when that dude said, uh, you know, when the guy talked about he been in the truth since 1989 or 1998, all these many years, and he agreed with GMS except for the Native Americans and Latinos being Israelites. Oh, Lord. I was so furious. Over the over the moon with anger, all day long. That shit, man, is, is enough to boy. I want. I literally want to fight that guy.
Okay? That's just on the inside. I didn't let it out. I didn't make no video talking shit, doing all that. But I didn't even go live, man. That's how aggravated that shit is because Jake is on a low level. You being you got all these stupid ass carnal arguments. And that goes right in with this too. You being carnally minded. And the most I gonna kill a lot of Israelites. And, and, and as a matter of fact, that guy that made that comment, you ain't even in the truth. Man. You've been in the truth since 1998. Whatever group you was listening to that made you think that you in the truth, right? When you in the background somewhere, you done known the truth like 20 years. You ain't never did one thing for the truth. You ain't made no lesson. You ain't opened up no camp. You ain't did shit. All you did was be in the background with a fucking opinion. Who in the fuck are you, man? Who are you? You are carnal, simplistic, unequal, rich. And the rest of you niggas is like that too, man. You just can't get this truth. It's too high power for you. You on a low level. You still black, man. You a black. You a Asiatic black man. Whatever the fuck that is. That's what you are. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. When you got a carnal mind, you subject just to your flesh, man. If you go ahead and look up the word carnally, right? Here's the word in the Greek. Strong's G, 4561. Sarx. Sarx. And you go right to definition C. It says the sensuous nature of, of man, the animal nature, right? It says here, uh, let's see here. Just hold on tight. Carnally used of a, of a natural or physical origin generation of relationship. The sensuous nature of man, the animal nature. And you're, you're like a beast, man. You know, you're like a beast. It says here the animal nature with cravings which incite the sin. You see, that's what you, you, you people are. You're on a low ass level. You're basically just frail. Like it says here, human nature with its frailties. Uh, and passions see you're carnally minded you're carnally minded brute beasts as the scriptures say made to be taken and destroyed let's see right here if we can get another something further on that carnally minded let's see if you'll look it up yeah right here the desires of the flesh warring against the spirit uh let's see here that's 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 pretty much it man you get the idea. You know what carnally minded means. You in the flesh and not in the spirit. The scripture goes on, verse 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against the most high. Let's see if we can get, see what carnal says right here. And that's a lot of jakes that's like that. Well, it's the same word, so it doesn't give an indication of anything different. Um, We're going to just go with that. Here it says, the flesh denotes mere human nature. The earthly nature of man apart from divine influence. So in other words, you ain't got the spirit on you. This, you and the earthly nature of man apart from the divine influence and therefore prone to sin and opposed to the most high. So when you start saying things like great millstone got the truth, you believe with everything they say, except the Latinos and Native Americans are not Israelites. Nobody ever, you, you Jakes don't even read the scriptures, man. Who else go have the spirit on them to go and open up a camp, teach all kind of lessons, to go through all the shit that the Latino and Native American brothers have been going through on the battlefield with us other than Israelites? By your logic, if your black ass is an Israelite and you got no works, no camp in over 20 years, no videos, no camp, no fruit, no works, no ministry. But then you got Latino and Native American brothers with all those things. Which one is the Israelite? The scripture would suggest that they're Israelites and you're not. But you know what? You're too brutish. You're too carnal. You're too simplistic. You're too unequal to understand that. And the most I'm going to kill a lot of you people that think that way. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the most high. For it is not subject to the law of the most high. Neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high. You people are in the flesh. All of you. Do people that follow around these Israelite groups, even though they be going off. Now, at the end of the day, the dude, this brother didn't commit no bloody murder, but he clearly could have avoided this whole situation. As you saw, a multitude of videos come out about it. How was it that all the great millstone brothers see this one way, but the rest of you 
simplistic, carnal, unequal Israelites, you can't get it. You All you see is an Israelite getting locked up. Never mind what he did. Fuck what he did. It's the fact that they locking him in prison. You know, which he didn't even go to prison. He just got, you know, hey, at the, end of, at the beginning of the day or the end of the day, what's supposed to have happened was he supposed to just took his little citation and then moved over like they told him to do, man. And you can learn from this as well. Proverbs 15 and 1, it says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. And that's what you saw. The, the man rolled up on him and told him, you three gentlemen, we're going to write you this for that, that for the noise level. And he began immediately to get emotional. You see? Immediately to get emotional. So, you know, at the end of the day, man, hey, what can you say? There's nothing you can say. There's nothing that can be done about it. So going back to that scripture, Proverbs 122, how long you simple ones when you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Simple Israelites. Walk around in the earth acting like consumers instead of producers. Now, this one Jake said, let's go back to his comment. He said that it said, didn't the Bible say the devil should cast some of you in prison houses to be tried? My brother was quoting scriptures, getting locked up. He didn't do nothing wrong. You must be on another planet. You must be on another whole planet in order for you to think like that, man. Let's grab this. The scripture that he's talking about, this is Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. This is the end time, you know, prophecy when the when the uh you know the devil, the the officers or whoever, you know, playing the part of the devil gonna just grab up Israelites, the men of the Lord, and throw them into prison, but not because of anything that they've done, other than the fact that they believe the truth. That's not the same situation as what you saw. You saw the cops roll up and they asked them a question or told them, gave them a command, right? Told them they was going to issue them a citation and then you see niggas get out of line and then get locked up. So that's not like this. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried and you shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. And the thing with Jake is the unequalness of their spirit, what they do is they quote scriptures out of context just in order to appear righteous, man. But you got to realize when you get approached by the cops, this is also another scripture you can apply. Ecclesiastes 28, 18. Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many as have fallen by the tongue. Remember, you got to watch your mouth. Watch what you say. Watch what you do. You can't just act all out and do whatever you want to do and then think that the most high going to cover you. No, at some at some point, these outbursts and these outlandish, right, these uh breakdowns of judgment are gonna cause start costing people their lives. So this is a warning, okay? This is a warning to you, uh, to you simple, uh, unequal, carnal Israelites. You better start learning how to control your temper, how to control your mouth, how to have patience, right? How to learn how to use your words instead of getting all irate. And really at the end of the day, well, all it was is them damn Christians had came up there and buck and bothered the shit out of you, you know, and you were so busy thinking about them, you didn't use wisdom, man. And then you did the, you, you you assaulted the officer. They're gonna call that assault, man. Now, at the end of the day, maybe the most I deliver you from it. Maybe he won't, but it doesn't matter, man. You gotta learn from it. And I'm saying it doesn't matter the fact that, you know, if if uh you wind up having to pay a fine or whatever. As long as you learn from it, that's the most important thing because obviously the brother did get, you know, he ain't dead or nothing like that. But we have to remember too as as brothers in the faith that these Israelites, man, they're unequal as shit, just like the Most High said it. They don't understand how to judge righteous judgment. That's why the Most High made this statement in regards to the Israelites. Now, it was dealing with another situation, but we'll still read it here. Ezekiel 18.25 he says, yet ye say the way of the Lord is not equal. Here now, O house of Israel, is not my way equal, are not your ways unequal. And when you go into that word unequal, let's see if we can get it here. When you look it up, you know, and actually I got it already. Let's close that. Actually, I already got it. This is the word. Unequal. It says not equal in quantity, size, or value. No, not that. 
not having the ability or resources to meet a challenge. That's part of it. When you go here, uh, definition three, badly balanced or matched. Uh, uh, let's actually open that up. Salak here. And a lot of you Jakes are just unequal as shit, man. And let's see if we can get a definition from over here. Unequal. It didn't give me a whole lot, so I wound up having to look it up on Google. Yeah, I remember now, so we had to wind up looking it up on Google. Right here, unequal. Not the same measure, not of the same measurement quantity or number as another. Not like or not the same as another in degree, worth, or status. And when it comes to it, you're just not measuring up to what the most high want, you know, the equality being shown, man. You you regard the most high as unequal, but then you think you're equal. It says here, dot, not uniform. And you get the idea. In unequal manner. The way the Israelites judge is unequal, man. Unequal is shit. That's why I said a lot of these Israelites, man, they're unequal. They're simple, carnal, and unequal. Okay? And at the end of the day, us in the truth, the older brothers, that, you know, in the faith, we just have to understand, man, that when it comes to things, deep things of the spirit, these Israelites ain't on no level, man. That's why you need elders like we need it. Apostles, elders, and still need apostles, elders, big brothers on down to get that firm foundation under you. Because if you don't have it, you just wind up like these simple carnal unequal israelites they don't know judgment they don't know how to judge righteous judgment they they're still judging according to the flesh they're in the flesh so we have to remember scriptures like these first corinthians 2 and 9 but as it is written i have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered to the heart of man the things which the most High have prepared for them that love him but the most High have revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searches all things, yet the deep things of the most high. And a lot of these Israelites, they're not in the spirit. They have taken the truth or taken the truth and made it into something for them. They made it into their hustle. They made it into their, uh, you know, their fanfare, their theme music. You turn it into a commercial thing, man. You turn it into a way to look cool. Cold cuts. We're going to cut them. We're going to cut these people. We're going to show them. We masters of the scripts. We're going we gonna to prove these people. You turn it into mumble rap, basically. And that's why the fruits that's being shown are unpleasing to the Heavenly Father. Because you, you basically, it's Hebrew Israelite niggas. A lot of you out there are just Hebrew Israelite niggas and downright unspiritual, man. Verse 11 says, For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of the Most High knoweth no man but the spirit of the Most High. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the most high, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the most high, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. And, and, and in that, therein, inside of the spiritual things, you understand that not all Israelites going to look like onyx stones. Not all Israelites going to look like a black leather belt, right? That the Latinos and Native Americans, when you do your research, that they were over here first. That the prophecy does state that uh, Israel and Judah, uh, Judah and Israel were oppressed together in Babylon the Great. You understand these things through prophecy, but when you just a carnal ass nigga and you don't have the spirit, you start saying things like, it irks my spirit. When you mention the Latinos and Native Americans as Israelites. Meanwhile, your black shiny ass have no works, no faith, right? You ain't got no camp, no nothing. Uh, these other brothers, Latinos and Native Americans, they going out doing the work. Even one of the elder apostles is, is from the northern kingdom, man. What the fuck you talking about? Elder Apostle Ryan Blob go live every day, every day. <coughs> you mean to tell me he's not an Israelite, but you are. Your no works having ass, you're an Israelite, though. Why are you an Israelite? Why would we believe that you're an Israelite? Because you black, so-called black? You could be a Hamite. You people, man, you on a low-ass level, man. man I, boy, I withhold what I was going to say. <laughs> Verse 14 says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. You got Israelites walking around thinking that some kind of way 
This man was totally in the right when he got locked up. Now, the scriptures tell you when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. But see, you see it here. He wound up getting his ass locked up. He got his ass locked up because the most high, he didn't, his ways didn't please the Lord. So therefore, the enemy grabbed him and throwed his ass into the paddy wagon. First Corinthians 2.15, but he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. And, and another carnally minded brute beast hollering about, we ain't all scared to die for this shit, for this shit. Well, first off, again, this is not shit. And who asked you to do anything? We don't even know if you even exist, an educated Israelite, with no videos on your goddamn page. No videos on your page. We don't even know you, man. Nobody knows you. You are no threat. An Israelite that's not teaching is really not a threat. Why would, the, why would the world fear you? You ain't even doing shit. Watching a bunch of videos, that's not a threat to anybody. These elites fear the brothers that's got the truth, that's teaching the truth, that have faith, the faith so strong that they believe to the point where they go and risk their lives. You ain't risking your life. They're going to put up a book and two swords. Shut your whack ass up, man. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of the anointed. And as the scriptures say in Romans 8, I think around about 29, you know, to those has been given, um, uh, the spirit to conform to the image of the son. Now, again, going in with this, uh, going back into the scriptures, we can't get mad at you carnal ass, brute beast, dumb Israelites, you simple, unequal Israelites, because you don't know no better and you don't have the spirit. So therefore, it's really manifesting itself more and more of these foolish virgin Israelites. John 14 and 16. And I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. And we have to remember, just like with, you know, carnally minded individuals without the spirit. You know, we just read the other scripture dealing with, um, <clears throat> you know, these people are in the flesh, so they can't receive the things of the spirit. It says here, the world cannot receive the spirit of truth. And a lot of these Israelites are part of the world that cannot receive the spirit of truth. That's why you got Israelites hollering about the two thirds ain't going to never come back in the kingdom. The two thirds are going to come back in their own kingdom. It's like saying that Yahweh blood was only able to purchase back a fraction of the Israelites. And that's really what you're saying. You're saying if the two thirds are not coming back. That means Yahweh blood sacrifice was only fit enough to cover one third of the Israelites. That makes his sacrifice inadequate. Yahweh blood was so, in, in according to how they believe, how they're teaching it, that sacrifice was so unworthy that, that two whole portions of Israelites are never going to come back and be in their own kingdom. Only one third. That's it. And that's how fucking ridiculous. That's how simple. That's how unequal and carnal you Israelites truly are, man. And may Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Destroy any carnal, simplistic, unequal Israelite, man. That can't get the truth. Because you ain't of the elect. I'm going to leave it right there. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.